I'm Tim Beery with UDOT Region 2. Spring is here and that means construction season has started in Utah. UDOT has many projects planned for this year and this episode will give you a rundown of some of the biggest projects to hit the Salt Lake Valley in 2017. Motorists traveling Bangator Highway will see major road construction beginning in May. UDOT is converting four intersections along the highway into freeway-style interchanges, similar to the ones at 7800 South and Redwood Road. The intersections under construction this year will be 114th South and South Jordan, 90th South and 70th South in West Jordan, and 5400 South in Taylorsville. Our big ultimate goal is to turn Bangator Highway into an expressway or a freeway-like facility. So getting four more interchanges built will be a, a great step in making that happen. It'll make not only Bangator flow better, but the east-west routes getting to Bangator will also be able to flow a lot better as well. To learn more about plans on Bangator Highway and sign up for weekly construction activities, visit the website on your screen. In anticipation of growth in the southern Salt Lake Valley, UDOT has announced many projects this year to facilitate growth and provide alternate routes in this growing area. UDOT will begin work on Redwood Road from 126 South to Bangator Highway in Riverton this year to accommodate north-south mobility between Salt Lake and Utah counties. Crews will widen the roadway to seven lanes and install raised medians at intersections as a safety measure to help control traffic flow. Motorists can expect delays during construction scheduled for completion in 2018. In Sandy, the interchange ramp at 90th South and I-15 is getting new lanes and signals. Crews will expand the northbound ramp to I-15 and widen the road east of the freeway to Monroe Street. Construction on this interchange begins this summer and continues through the fall of 2017. Also in Sandy, UDOT is building a crossing under 106 South that will connect the northbound off-ramp to Monroe Street near the shops at Southtown. This crossing will ease off-ramp congestion and increase safety for vehicles using the off-ramp to access eastbound 106 South. Crews will also resurface the bridge deck to provide a smoother driving surface and prolong the life of the structure. This summer, crews will also repave 700 East and Sandy between 7400 South and 9400 South. Other work includes the addition of raised medians and bicycle lanes, as well as specific turn locations designed to increase safety for drivers and pedestrians. There's so much growth in this end of the valley that we are struggling for capacity down here. And as we can improve these roads, we can keep Utah moving, keep the citizens of this part of the valley moving. It improves the economy out here, and it improves the quality of life for everyone out here. To learn more about any of these South Valley improvements and sign up for weekly construction updates, visit the website on your screen. Construction continues along I-215 in Taylorsville and West Valley City. Crews are reconstructing the freeway between 4700 South and SR-201 with new concrete, new auxiliary lanes, and making improvements to the ramps. This project is also widening the bridges at 3500 South and 3800 South, and the bridge at SR-201 will be reconstructed. Construction began last year and is expected to be complete before the 2017 holiday season. To learn more about this project and sign up for weekly construction updates, visit the website on your screen. Construction of the next phase of Mountain View Corridor continues from 5400 South to 4100 South in West Valley City. This segment will have a total of 14 roadway bridges and 7 pedestrian bridges in addition to trails along the highway. To learn more about Mountain View Corridor and sign up for weekly construction updates, visit the website on your screen. That's it for this edition of UDOT Region 2 News. I'm Tim Beery. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and remember to buckle up.